my story starts off uh, in high school, uh, my 10th grade year. Uh, as a ninth grader, uh, I started on the varsity basketball team, and as a 10th grader, uh, I made the varsity football team. But I remember one game specifically, uh, didn't play as much as I thought I should have. Uh, and man, I was just, I was hurting, I was, I was mad. I didn't understand it. The previous game before, I was a starter, so I just didn't understand it. And after the game, I uh, met my mom on the field, and she was like, hey, I love you. Uh, you played great. Uh, and, and all the things that you want your mom to say to you after the game. And I was just so mad and, and, and hot and, and really didn't want to talk to anybody because of what happened. And I kind of just brushed her off. I went into the locker room and, and then got ready, took a shower, and came back out. And when I came back out, she was with my linebacker's coach, and she was crying. I was just so confused. I didn't know if something happened or uh, I didn't know where my dad was. So I didn't know if something happened to him or what. Um, went over to her and she was just like, man, Jara, uh, I come to every single game to support you. Uh, and after the games, good or bad, doesn't mean nothing to me. I just wanted to tell you I love you and I want to get a hug from you. Uh, and that was a really big turning point for me in my life. Uh, up to that point, I, I think I had pretty bad anger issues and anger problems. And as a, a, a player in that position, all my mom wanted to do was tell me she loved me and give me a hug. And that kind of changed my, my perspective, changed my outlook on life. The biggest thing that she did, to be honest, uh, was just constantly being there. Uh, no matter what, I don't think my mom has ever missed a game. So her being there and just after every single game, uh, whether it was a blizzard, uh, whether it was we were up by 50 points, she stayed there to the end so she could come see me after game and say she loved me.